Oh, my name is Kevin Barongoi Mogo. I'm going to Grand Valley State University, which is located in Michigan. I'm going to pursue a Master of Science in Applied Statistics. I'm from Kisi County. I'm feeling excited because I started the program in January. I did not expect to be relocated this faster. The program, program has been supportive to me, led by Wilfred and Bob. They are very supportive. I can urge people to join the program because I am a testament of this program and it's, it's, it's working for us. And I'm urging out there if you are a STEM student, particularly the science, technology, engineering and mathematics, just come to the program. They will guide you and you will never look back. Yeah, this is my first time flying. My, first, my flight plan from Nairobi to Grand Rapids will include two stopovers. One will be in London where I will have a layover. The next stopover will be in Texas, Dallas, where I will, that will be my port of entry. And my final stopover will be in Grand Rapids, where Grand Valley State University is located. This program, actually, my sister recommended it to me. My sister was in Facebook and saw Bob Mitty advertising the program, and he told me to try it because I undertook statistics, which is, a, which is under STEM. I was working in in a, my friend's farm as a loan officer. I was analyzing data which entails the loans and I got lucky to know about this program. You are watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show presented to you by the International Scholars Program. The International Scholars Program is an award-winning international education financing scheme that helps bright students to pursue graduate studies abroad regardless of their financial background. You can find our programs by going to www.internationalscholarsprogram.com. The International Scholars Program, empowering dreams. This master's degree will impact my professional life in a very good way. For instance, I'll be able to analyze data which we'll be able to use in many companies. And as we are approaching Vision 2030, I know this statistics master's will be very impactful in the coming future. In my high school, I attended Ambira High School, which is located in Saya County. And my undergraduate, I went to PC University. My visa experience was smooth. The program undertook us through a vigorous training. They were criticizing, but it helped us. If they were soft, I don't think I, I, I could be able to land the visa. It was helpful and it helped me a lot. My message to my family is that I'm going to work hard so that I may come back and impact the lives here back in Kenya, and I will not let you down. To the International Scholars Program, I know we are doing a good work there in the United States. We should keep our heads down and continue working towards achieving the goal of the program. My, uh, it's, it's, that's a good move because we, we, we need to, to accommodate more people as their days are coming and accommodating more people will make the program to be luc lucrative and nobody will left out. Nobody will be left out. My advice to people out there is that the program is good. It's working and there should be no doubts. This is a transparent program. It has done many interviews in in the interview with Alex Chamwada. I also saw that interview. Bob has really done a good work while he's marketing this program and there's nothing to hide. You have been watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show brought to you by the International Scholars Program. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful international student abroad through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to the International Scholars Program on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn.